Hey there, everybody. This is Benjamin Thomas Blodgett. Just wanted to show you a quick breakdown of a material I made today. So it's a shield material that can be applied uh, over any base. So let's look at these parameters in a second. I'll just show you what the shader actually looks like. So here, what we've got is our output is a material attribute. So make sure to check use material attributes in the material definition. And you can see here that we're blending two separate materials. And those materials are our shield and our base. So here we've got base color, which is just roughness and a color. That could be anything. You just got to collect it up into a material. Then we're blending it. So we're taking A or B based on the alpha. So zero, we'll take A. If it's one, we take B. So whichever parts are one or in between, we blend between these two. And we are using this shield's opacity to do that. So where the shield says, hey, I'm opaque, then we're going to overlay it essentially. So if we go in here to the shield material, it's very simple. Let's look at that again like this. Uh, what we have is the shield color multiplied by Fresnel and the shield emissive. Uh, it's got one specular, no roughness. And over here, we're taking some UV coordinates, we're scaling them and panning them to get our noise, and we're multiplying them by each other, and then multi multiplying that by an opacity. And this is what's gonna make up uh, our blend out here. So that's what this part here is. The rest of this is just kinda how it looks and where it looks. So in the end, we have two noises. Uh, they're panning against each other in a way, so we've got some speeds, and then I just put the reverse ones down here for the other uh, one which uh, you can't tell but this is actually like a brick like texture but I've already got it uh, scaled up by 30 so let's look at the uh, the actual result then we've got the the brick pattern and then you can see these these other whooshes of the Perlin like noise and uh, what's gonna really change this material is the opacity so let's multiply that by zero so now we just have whatever the base material would be here like I said it's just gray uh, as in my example, but you know, let's, let's take that up to one and we start to see some of these detail and you know, the Fresnel glow out at the edges. Uh, let's take that up to two, three, five. So we can have varying levels for how powerful this shield is. Uh, you know, and you just set your variables however you want. So let's take this up to 10. Let's see, it's getting a little intense now. 50 molten lava vibe right there. 100. 500 nice now that's some serious lava right there all right let's get real crazy thousand five thousand okay Ooh, I really like this warping at the edges with the emission is that the bloom all right can't even count ten thousand let's just add an extra zero okay way too insane <laughs> the looking at the Sun right here uh, let's let's go back down to five uh, maybe even 30 very cool. Anyway, uh, the link for this material is in the description. Enjoy.